Everett Ross, number five, and Jamie Holland, number six. This is Holland at the 10. And he brings it out to the 26 yard line. Chris Carter, the man to watch, the second all time leading receiver in Buckeye history. Bob Maggs, regarded by the Buckeye coaching staff as the best setter ever to play for Ohio State. He's a good one. That's a 6'5, 292 pounds from Youngstown, Ohio. He anchors that offensive line. It's another big one. George Cooper, the fullback, along with the freshman tailback, Jim Bryant in the backfield. Jim Casados to throw on first down to open the game, and he's got a man wide open. Nate Harris has got a first down deep into Purdue territory. And it's the back judge. Holding on the offense. First down repeated. Holland on a wing left. He's, he's switching, Mel. He's changing the play. Out of time. Still got 10 seconds to go. And the handoff to the tailback, Bryant, who has rushed for over 100 yards in each of his last two games. And he Purdue's defensive line, they've had to make some changes because of injuries. Ken Kushner has moved into the nose guard spot. Kevin Hawley has moved from nose guard to the outside tackle spot. Three fine linebackers led by Fred Strickland and the All-American candidate Rod Woodson at quarterback. Seems to be some confusion on the part of the Buckeyes. It looks like Carsados. The flag. That time ran out. The 25 second clock expired before they could get off a play. Delay of game against the Buckeyes. Uh, Harris on a slot right. He goes in motion. Tarsados again with time, and the pass is complete to Bryant. Trying to stiff arm a tackler, and he gets to the 25 yard line. Holland is in motion. Look at this pitch. Another receiver wide open. This time it's Chris Carter. And almost wherever Chris Carter is, Mel, he's over on the right hand. Cooper, the fullback, gets the call, the 246 pounder. And now they're in a long line of great fullbacks at Ohio State. It's Bryant following Cooper into the Look line. Big pickup, close to another first down. First down for the Buckeyes at the 49. The handoff. Lost five of them, so hence we see Bryant. The action fake by Carsados. His pass is dropped by Cooper. Third down, 10. Carsados has completed two of three passes so far. Half the blitz. Here it comes. Over the middle to Everett Ross. He's got a first down. Try to shake a tackle, and he's. I would say, completed three of four passes so far. The pitch to Bryant, getting a block from Cooper, down the sidelines for another sizable pickup. The give to Bryant, a gaping hole for another first down. What a hole. Oh. How about the left side? Eulon Haken stays in the out. It's Cooper trying to get to the outside. <laughs> Cooper, the big fullback, they like to use him when they get right inside the 10-yard line. He's third and goal with the five. The fake to Cooper. Into the end zone. Looked like somebody may have pushed off. Ed Taggart made his debut it. last week. Kicked his first collegiate field goal, 43 yarder. So he is one for one. And the Buckeyes are on the scoreboard. As France connects on the field goal. So with 8:04 remaining in the first quarter, it's Ohio State. The Buckeyes the lead. One touchdown in high school for a whole year. Rod Woodson at the four, and he seems to be limping. Still a pretty good run back by Woodson. Jerry Chaney, the second leading receiver in the Big Ten. John Hayes got a big touchdown pass last week against Illinois. They don't have much deep speed, though. Only two starters back on the offensive line, Tyree and Connor, so a relatively inexperienced front, trying to protect an inexperienced quarterback, and Doug Downing making his first collegiate start. And the handoff is to James Medlock. According to Earl Bruce, the play of his front three defensively has been rather spotty, but they've got great linebackers led by Spielman and Comerow, who leads the Big Ten in sacks. Sonny Gordon, the rover, and the captain of the team having a great year with four interceptions already. Come on, Doug! Downing to throw, and his pass is complete to Tony Grant. Swinging. Third down, six. Oh, oh. Hayes and Bruner split to the right. Bruner is in motion. Downing's pass is incomplete. There's a flag on the plate. Pushing. Pass interference. Mm. It's offensive pass interference. It was 43 yards last week into a wind against Illinois. I think it was blocked. Just tipped a little bit. Ross at midfield. Breaks a tackle. Good run back by Everett Ross. And I'm in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. That's where Mr. Bryant's from. Great town. 
I'm afraid to ask what you were doing there. I'm not telling you. Jim Bryant has carried six times for 48 yards in the first quarter, and it's Cooper, the fullback. Nate Harris, wide to the right, quarterback sneak by Carsados. He needed only a yard. With Ross, wide right, Carter splits to the left. Carsados again, under pressure, leading the pressure, throwing into the end zone. It's almost intercepted. The pressure to Carsados and chased him out of the pocket. And the handoff is to the big fullback, Cooper. Ross is on a wing right. He goes in motion. Carsados' pass is complete to the tight end, Ed Taggart. For in one game against Utah, the pitch is to Bryant. And he is hammered. Great tackle by Fred Strickland. Cooper, the lead back in the eye. And he gets down near the goal line. His wrist. But he's healthy and having an outstanding season so far. It's Bryant trying to go airborne over the top to the touchdown, but it looks like he stopped short. No. Yeah, now you'll procedure. Now you'll see the kicker. It'll be a 22-yard attempt. And the kick is good. So he is three for three as the new kicker for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And Ohio State ups its lead to six to nothing with a minute 55 remaining in the first quarter. And we'll be right back confidence and had made only four of nine field goals so Earl Bruce made the change to France this is Medlock at the seven he didn't want it and he brings it out near the 28 yard line there's three plays and a punt on their first possession the pitch is to Medlock well, I love to see Jeff George I was really looking forward to seeing him Look down and getting a lot of pressure. A wobbly pass. He's got Brunner open for a first down at midfield. David Brown apparently hit him a little late. No, in fact, it was against Purdue, the late hit out of bounds. Jeff George is out with a back injury. Doug Downing making his first college start this evening. That's the tough Ohio State defense. Medlock on the delay. Breaks Fieldman's tackle. And he's close to a first down. Break. Jerry Cheney is the tailback. Second down and one. Here comes the pressure. And a penalty marker is down as Eric Comoro decks the quarterback. Intentional grounding. Loss of down. 23 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Ohio State leads 6 to nothing. Bruner is in motion. Downing buying a little time. He's got a man open, but the pass is underthrown and incomplete. Everett Ross standing at the 11. Short punt. Rolling inside the 20. A good bounce for Purdue. Down inside the 10. This will be a pretty good punt. Carsados will throw from his own end zone with plenty of time. He's got Carter open. He's got him for a first down at the 37-yard line. And that will definitely be the end of the first quarter. With the score, Ohio State 6, Purdue nothing. This is Super Football Saturday night on TNT. First and 10 for Ohio State as we begin the second quarter. The Buckeyes leading 6 to nothing. And it's Jim Bryant, the freshman running back, ripping off another big gainer. Still on his feet. Cooper, the fullback. Over the line of scrimmage and dragged down. Normally that's 14, 17 and nothing. Everett Ross in motion for the Buckeyes. Carasados running the option to pitch to Workman trying to spin away from a tackler. The Buckeyes with a third and eight situation to Purdue 46. Ohio State running and passing at will so far. Carasados drills one to Nate Harris for a first down at the 26 yard line. Carasados backed up Mike Tomzak for three years. Came into his own last year. The pitch is to Bryant. Formation. Right again, another gaping hole, and he's got a first down. He's basically doing whatever he wants so far. Bryant on the delay, not this time. No, sir. There's those three down linemen, four linebackers. Carsado's getting pressure, and a pass is complete to the tight end, Taggart. But for over 4,000 yards. Now let's see what Ohio State can. First and goal to go from the nine. <laughs> It's what they did. They took the penalty instead of the play. Play was at the five. The pitch to Bryant following Cooper. 
And Bryant is run out of bounds. Hand off to Bryant, straight up the middle, stopped short again. They go from the pro set with Cooper and Bryant. Carsados throwing for Carter, wide open, touchdown Buckeyes. Number four on the year, I'll tell you, he was wide open. Woodson lost him over on the left sideline. Just a fade pattern. Guys are going for a two-point conversion. Fake to Bryant, Carsados on a rollout, he wants to throw. And with 10.36 remaining in the second quarter, it's Ohio State 12, Purdue nothing, and we'll be right back. Either that or he said, if you catch the ball, pitch it back to me. <laughs> He's got it. This is Woodson at the eighth. Try to get outside. He's got some room. He is exciting. Tony Grant, the backfield, along with James Medlock. Medlock, the tailback. And he gets the call, stepping over a tackler. Fight only a freshman. Second down and seven. Downing's pass is complete to Calvin Williams. Tony Grant is the lone setback. Downing with time. And his pass is incomplete. Minnesota and Michigan both won this afternoon to remain tied for first place. Second down, 10 for Doug Downing. Getting pressure. Pass is complete to Jerry Cheney. Safety valve play on the right side. Holding against Purdue. They'll go from the shotgun. They love to use this formation when Jeff George is healthy. They'll use it quite a bit during a game. It's the first time we've seen it tonight with Downing at the controls. Got a man open, but he overthrows his receiver. It was down the middle of the street. <laughs> Downing on third and 20. The pass is complete to Jack Berry, the tight end at midfield. Back to punt. Ross signaling for a fair catch at the 20. Jim Carsados has been very impressive in this first half. The handoff to Bryant, the freshman, another flag down. But, you know, then you get into the act. procedure, not having required men on the line of scrimmage. That's twice. Good fake by Carsados. I don't know who he was throwing to. Carsados' pass is complete to Chris Carter. Tom Tupa in there for Carsados now. The handoff is to Bryant. I don't know if Carsados is shaken up. Sell out crowd. They can stuff 71 in here. They've had it for Indiana. Punt almost blocked. Fair cat signal for by Woodson. And a little further, Mike Phipps and Lenny Dawson, they've had some great ones here. First down for the Boilermakers. Not open again. Second down at 10. Quick toss is complete to the tight end, Schumacher, for games. Saw that note on the lighting provided for tonight's game by Moscow Sports Lighting of Oskaloosa, Iowa. We got a guy like Carter. Punt almost blocked again. Ross running up the field at the 35. Not going the other way. He's tricky. <laughs> Ran two miles to pick up five yards. Tupa, a junior from Brecksville, Ohio. Maybe he just wants to give him a little shot. Cooper and Workman are the running backs. Tupa running the option on the keeper. And Got he gets to midfield. Off to Vince Workman. Mentioned the Buckeyes have had a case of fumbleitis. Ohio State with 13 first downs so far. Purdue with only two. It's Workman, the tailback. Unless Purdue can generate some offense, this may be the first shutout pitch tonight. Watch the pitch back to the quarterback. Workman gets clobbered as he tries to unload the pass. Play didn't fool anybody, did it? Sure didn't. Cooper with a short drop over the middle he goes and the pass is complete to Chris Carter holding on in traffic. Ending second quarter from Ross Aid Stadium. Bryant running hard up the middle and he's to the 25 yard line. We've got a big game next week against Minnesota in Columbus, Ohio. So we'd like to have him ready for that one. The pitch is to Bryant. Breaks a tackle inside the 20. What a run by Jim Bryant. The 13 yard line. 
Tupar with a deep drop. Plenty of time. Into the end zone he goes, and it's incomplete. Right through the hands of Jamie Holland. To Tupar, a little bit loose. Second down, 10. The pitch to Bryant. Well, he's knocked out of bounds. Nothing doing. Hey. Holding against Ohio State. Second down and 20 following the holding penalty. He's going to try to change the play here. Good place for a little screen pass. Here's a little, little shovel pass to the fullback. Cooper had one man to beat, and he was dragged down. It'll be third down and five from the eight-yard line. Two tight ends for the Buckeyes. Taggart and Hutchinson. Fake to Cooper. Tupo will keep it himself. Russell down to six, so it's another 22-yarder with Scott Powell holding. France has yet to miss a field goal in his collegiate career. And he's perfect again. So it looks like the Buckeyes have found a very effective place kicker after struggling with Pat O'Morrill. High short kick. Medlock at the 20. Across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Fumble and Purdue got it back. One minute left in the half. Medlock, the lone setback, is down and goes to the air, and his pass is complete to Medlock. Running up without a huddle, second down three. Downing from the shotgun. Kumaro is all over him as he throws it away. He was the intended receiver, roughing the passer. Trips to the right, Bruner split to the left. Downing's pass is complete to Woodson. Knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Woodson's in the slot. Downing with plenty of time. And the pass is out of bounds. He just Second down and 10. Tony Grant is in motion. Pass is complete to Beery, the tight end, and he's out of bounds. Block the lone setback. Watch Cummerall. Here he comes. Quarterback draw. Second down, goal to go at the six. Doug Downing from the shotgun. Into the end zone for Brunner, and it's incomplete. 40 yards or more, all four of them last week against Illinois. And the Boilermakers get on the scoreboard. Briggs had a fine year so far. He's connected on nine of 11 field goal attempts, and with two seconds remaining in the first half, it's now Ohio State 15 and Purdue 3. Us, number five, back deep. Uh, along with Jamie Holland and a short kick one of the up men and we've got one second left Cooper just going to take the snap drop to a knee and run out the first half it's exactly what he has in mind so that brings to an end the first half from West Lafayette Indiana with a score Ohio State 15 and Purdue 3 Matt France ready to kick off for Ohio State. A low driving kick. This is Woodson at the eight. And Rod Woodson brings it back to the 26 yard line. Tony Grant is at full back. Jerry Cheney is at tailback. They have rarely carried the football in the first half. Play action fake. Downing to throw on first down. And the pass is dropped. Gun formation on second down. Receiver wide open, Calvin Williams. Almost. Third down three. Downing's pass, hurried, underthrown, incomplete. Doesn't have to worry about a high snap. He's 6'8, so he can handle about anything. <laughs> Everett Ross gathers it in for the Buckeyes. And he's tackled at the 36 yard line. Jim Carsados is back in there at quarterback for the Buckeyes. He was 8 for 12 for 116 yards and a touchdown in the first half, but played very little in the second quarter. The handoff is to Jim Bryant. Too big. They wouldn't let him. They wouldn't let him, right? Plenty of time for Carsados. He's got Carter open, and Chris Carter's got it for a first down. First down at the 37. Carsados is pressured, steps up in the pocket, and guns it past long. Touchdown. Six. Nate Harris on the receiving end. Well, they beat Ned Martin over there again. And did you see the great move that Carsados got up inside the pocket? He looked like he was going to get sacked, Mel, and uh, made a beautiful move. And uh, Mel makes it look easy, doesn't he? Got a great arm, and the conversion kick is good. 
So we've got a timeout with 13 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Ohio State beginning to open things up. The Buckeyes lead Purdue 22 to 3, and this is Super Football Saturday night on TNT. 22 to 3, Ohio State leading. High short kick. Woodson runs up to take it. And he's knocked out of the 31 yard line. Grant is a lone setback. John Hayes puts wide to the right. Bruner and Williams wide left as Doug Downing pumps and now unloads. Penalty marker is down as the reception is made at the 40 coverage for the Buckeyes. Interference on the defense. Decline. Decline. First down. Penalty tacked on to that if he makes the catch. Makes sense, Mel? Makes sense to me. The handoff is to James Medlock. Here's with a second and six at the Ohio State 39. Downing's pass is incomplete. Third down, six. Joe Jenkins is playing linebacker for Ohio State in place of the injured Michael Key, who was shaken up in the first half. Downing's pass is complete. To Rick Bruner not showing a lot more poise. You're absolutely right, Mel. First down at the 21, the handoff to James Medlock. Bruner is wide to the right. Lorenzo McCline in there at running back. Downing will throw. He dumps it to number 24, Jerry Cheney. The Adding on the handoff to Medlock. They needed two yards for the first down and pick up a first down before they get the touchdown. Cheney and Grant in the backfield. Procedure penalty is now first down and 15 at the 16 yard line. Bruner goes in motion. Downing rolling away from the pressure. Comes back to the other side. His pass is complete to Jack Berry. Berry inside the 15 down to the 11-yard line. Second down at 10. And it looked like he had some movement up front. Almost into the neutral zone. Yes, he did. Offsides, Ohio State. And Rick Bruner wide to the left. John Hayes is split to the right. Doug Downing again rolling off. Wants to throw, getting a lot of pressure, and he throws it over the end zone. Tony Grant in motion. Downing into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Pass is picked off by David Brown. And finally brought down. No, still on his feet. Touchdown, 100 yards. Go down and thought it was Brown, but he stayed on his feet and went all the way for a touchdown. With Sonny Gordon, who threw a great block for him near the end of that run. A 100-yard interception return. David Brown. France in to try to add the point after. A backbreaker by David Brown running back a pass 100 yards, and the kick is good. And a jubilant freshman. David Brown from Utica, New York, on the sidelines. Bob to Matt France. Medlock at the five. Doug Downing will operate from the shotgun. He's completed 13 of 27 passes. The inside handoff to James Medlock. Rick Bruner is in motion. Here comes the pressure. Downing again on a rollout and the pump fake. His pass is complete to Bruner near midfield. Calvin Williams is wide to the left. Bruner split to the right. The pitch is to Lorenzo McCline. Nothing doing. They just stopped that running game cold. With the Loss of a yard, second down, 11. Downing's pass is complete to the tight end, Brad Schumacher. Third down, five at the 46. Downing in trouble, and he's buried. Two Buckeyes there. The first man to get to him was number 57, John Sullivan. Ross will take it at the 18. Got some running room up the middle. Well, he's in the backfield with him. Mark Bryant, who takes the pitch, and Cooper. Fine tackle by Mike Weaver. Moving. Soros off play action again stepping up. Pass is underthrown and almost picked off. Purdue in a nickel defense facing a third and 11 are the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Carsados on the give to Bryant. 
He's got a first down and more, and he almost broke that one, but he fumbles the football, and there's Rob Woodson to pounce on it for Purdue. Doug Downing has gone all the way at quarterback for the Boilermakers. Tony Grant in the backfield, along with Jerry Cheney, number 24. And a Rick Bruner is wide to the right. Downing's pass is complete to Jerry Cheney. Breaks the tackle, and he's into Ohio State territory. Snap is fumbled by Downing. And the pass is incomplete. Downing on the rollout. Pass is incomplete. You he he looks like he runs down the field open at all times. McCarthy unable to get off the punt. He's going to try to run for it. Knocked out of bounds. Let's see where they it. spot it. They'll mark him out at the 41-yard line. He does not get it. Ohio State with the football at their 40-yard line. First down and 10 with 421 remaining in the third quarter. Jim Carsados back to throw. He's going long. He's got a man open. And the pass is caught by Everett Ross. He's hit, and the ball is loose. Doesn't matter, he's flagged down. I think they could have, they got George Cooper. We have got holding yeah. on the offense. They I'm offset, we'll replay the down. First and 10 at the 40. Shovel pass to Cooper. Breaking tackles, he's got a first down. First down at the Boilermaker 46. Play action by Carsados. Again, the pump fake, and again going long. This time for Carter. It's incomplete. I used to watch him broadcast Chicago Bears games when I was growing up as a kid. With Lindsey Nelson. Jim Bryant adding to his total. He's over 100 yards. Keep it loose in Knoxville. One of the greats in this business. Carsados all by himself. What a fake he made inside the 20 to the 15. And down at the 11-yard line. Looks like a linebacker. Handoff is to Cooper. Blasting down near the 6-yard oh, line. Look at the running backs they've had. Handoff Arch is to Jim Bryant, who's rushed for over 130 yards. Fake to Cooper. The pitch to Bryant, who fumbles it. Now he's in trouble and is knocked out of bounds for a loss. This will be from the 15th, so it's a 25-yarder, his longest attempt of the game. Penalty markers down as Francis kick. Purdue. That's five yards. And then that 21-yard attempt for Matt France. And this one is good, so he is still perfect. He's kicked four field goals tonight. And the Buckeyes hike their lead to 32 to 3. Cheney at the four. And Jerry Cheney is brought down at the 23 yard line. Got a bright future ahead of him. It's a pressure again. The pass almost picked off, but Doug Downing will operate from the shotgun. And his pass is complete. Handoff is to Lorenzo McCline, bouncing to the outside. Nice. McCline picks up the first down. The end of three from West Lafayette. It's Ohio State 32 and Purdue 3. We'll be right back. As we began the fourth quarter with Ohio State leading Purdue 32 to 3. Purdue with the football. Doug Downing to throw on first down. He's got Bruner open, trying to come back and get it on enough for a John Briggs field goal. Ohio State will be throwing a shutout at Purdue tonight. Downing under pressure all night long. A screen pass to Tony Grant. And run by Grant, still on his feet. He's got a first down. Offensively rushed for almost 1,000 yards. First down at the 38. But Downing back to throw. He's got Bruner for another first down. He takes it down inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. Bruner has caught five, yeah. Sure has five to 93 receptions. Man wide open. Calvin Williams in the end zone. 
Second down and 10 for Downing. Pump fake. Now in trouble and throws over the middle again. A receiver wide open, and it's Tony Grant. So Ohio State defense has allowed just four touchdowns in the last 19 quarters since they lost to Washington. And the pitch is to James Medlock trying to turn the corner, and he's brought down for a loss. To return real, the 100 yard return. Lorenzo McClain on the hill. Nothing doing. Third and goal to go from the three yard line. For a little bootleg pass here. Yep. Medlock on the fake into the end zone. Touchdown. Roll out made by Caleb Barnes. Roll out bootleg around the right side, wide open. Rick Bruner is in motion. Doug Downing back to throw. Quarterback draw, and he stopped short. Still trying to get in, and he does. Great second effort. He was hit you see him just reach out with a football and break the plane. Yeah, he looked like he was hit from behind. A couple of them tried to get in on the tackle, and they shoved him over. So they got the two points, and it's now Ohio State 32 and Purdue 11 with 11.59 remaining in the game. This is Super Football Saturday night on TNT. Battle of the undefeated next week, it looks like. Minnesota at Ohio State. This is Jamie Holland at the 15. He takes a hit, doesn't he? Woo! First down for the Buckeyes at the Ohio State 27. Bill Matlock, number 11, is in there at fullback along with Workman. The handoff to Vince Workman, stopped for a loss. Dated for the whole night tonight. Action fake. Tupa drills a pass to Workman, and he's knocked out of bounds. Tupa throwing for Carter, using that great leaping ability to make the catch. What a catch. They knew it was coming. There's the underneath coverage. Now you see three beaks. Look at this catch. Great concentration on the football. He's caught seven passes for 117 yards tonight. Handoff is to Vince Workman. Breaks a tackle, still on his feet. Gets to the outside. Like he might break that one for a touchdown. Purdue 23 yard line. Tupa throwing. And it's caught by Jamie Holland for a touchdown. Well, that didn't take long. Three plays, boom, and they got the seven back. I tell you, Ohio State just looked outstanding in offense tonight. Three-yard touchdown pass. His first of the year. And Matt France conversion is perfect. With 10-11 remaining in the fourth quarter, it's now Ohio State 39 and Purdue 11. And it hits and goes out of bounds. Five yard penalty against Ohio State. They'll do it again. Lorenzo McCline at the 22. And he's wrestled down at the 33 yard line. Downing still at quarterback for the Boilermakers. The handoff is to Tony Grant. Grant looks good in the last couple of series. Came of eight yards, so it'll be second down and two for the Boilermakers. Jerry Cheney running hard. Jerry Cheney on the sweep. And he is nailed. Second down and seven. Doug Downing to throw, getting pressure. And his pass is complete to James Medlock. And he's got a first down at the... Tony Grant on the carry. That's a true story. He must have walked a few. No, I walked a few and I hit about 15. <laughs> he wouldn't let me pitch. Downing chased out of the pocket, throwing on the run, and it's incomplete. He's had a big touchdown reception last week against Illinois to tie the score late in the game. Downing in trouble again. Pass is deflected. Fourth down, fourth and eight for the Boilermakers. They try to keep this drive alive. Downing rifles the pass. It's complete to John Hayes for a first down. Just refuses to go down. 
State. Michigan State taught him about pass offense, and he learned his defensive philosophy from Tom Bass. Who uh, was a defender up over here on the left side. Downing with a drop. He's got time. There he is. Overthrows the intended receiver, Jerry Cheney. Spielman is even back in here there Here comes a full all-out blitz. Downing throwing deep for Hayes, and he overthrows him. Hey, coming again. Hayes is in motion. Here they come. Downing unloads, and it's incomplete. Here comes a flag interference. That referee did not call it. Then uh, first down here. Downing on the rollout. He guns a pass. It's intercepted by the rover back, Sonny Gordon. Another penalty marker down, though. Buckeyes have the ball at the Ohio State 17. Tom Cooper at quarterback. Bill Matlock in the backfield along with Vince Workman. This is Workman on first down. Steve Gressock takes the handoff. At Columbus. Handoff to Vince Workman. Second down and eight at the 32. Tufa's pass is complete to Everett Ross. Personal foul. Personal foul. It's against Ohio State. First and 25 for the Buckeyes. Tupa on the pitch to Vince Workman. Turning on the speed. A good run by Workman. The way the Wolverines finish That's up right. at Hawaii. Everybody like that. In December. So Roy Robinson is in it running back now for Ohio State. And he carries the ball for the first time in the game. Holland is in motion. Tupa running the option on the pitch to Vince Workman. Breaks a tackle and he's brought down in Purdue territory at the 46 yard line. Team, but their, their second team uh, is not too deep either. High driving punt by Tom Tupa. Williams signals for a fair catch, but it goes into the end zone for a touchback. We're back to West Lafayette, Indiana for the final one minute and 11 seconds with Ohio State blowing this one open in the second half. Lorenzo McCline carrying on first down to near in charge. Grover Huckabee and the rest of the fine TBS crew. Doug Downing throws and his pass is complete. Fumble. Ohio State has it. The Buckeyes will take over with 10 seconds left. Rushing. Corsatis was just simply, uh, well, didn't make too many mistakes. Everything he threw, everybody was open. Chris Carter had a big night. Tupa on the pitch to Barry Walker. Barry Walker, okay. That'll probably be the final play of the game as Ohio State will win its fifth straight. And the Boilermakers of Purdue got out of their fifth straight loss. Final score tonight. From Ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette, Indiana, the Buckeyes of Ohio State 39 and Purdue 11. We'll be back in a moment. This is Super Football Saturday night on TNT.